And we are back again here. Event. It is. Y'all having a good weekend? Actually, first off, it is a house divided campaign event. Um, it is actually a log cabin. One twenty. Um, one twenty-two fifty on the server. One twenty-four on the CSA versus one twenty-six on the Union team on the big board. This is just east of Knoxville, and this is the eighty-third Pennsylvania. On the Union team is surrounded and is fighting for their very survival against an attack from the CSA E piece. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah. It's killing me today. All right. Now, um, so if the uh, Union loses this battle, that piece will be wiped, and it is a full new token of 4,000 manpower, so it is very important for the Union team to try to hold on and win this battle if they can. Now, both teams will move out to their spawn, so... I'll actually have time to kind of see who is leading each unit here. So we have the 42nd under Captain Hood and Lieutenant Mattis and Lieutenant Kilroy as well. We've got 19th Indiana under Motorheart. We've got NYV under Lieutenant Parker. Lieutenant uh, Selbon is leading the MWB. We've got 9th Corps under Captain Nolan. SR under Tar Gray. And, of course, the Peace Holder 83rd under Corporal Tiberius. I believe that is everybody. Yep, there's some SR folks coming in. Alright, now let's swing over to the CSA team. They are coming in here as well. Both teams form up here at 42. They'll raise it. They have the 69th here under... Well, the uh, 69th New York, but IVB under Jeff Knight. Lieutenant CJH from the 20th New York. Looks like Sevy is also leading from the IVB. we got HL under the newly promoted Major Wilkes. So he has gone to the dark side and has left the NCO Corps for officer. God help us all. Major Knight is commanding the newly minted TB along with Mr. Danson. He's commanding the 27th. You have the 4th West Virginia under Mr. Lightburn. And is that it? Uh, 79th New York is in here somewhere under Rick's. And we do have Osephus leading the Pickett's Brigade. Uh, who is still back here? Let's see. HD is also... They are back here under Captain Harkness. Now, as you might have noticed here as we go live at 42, um, it is raining. That's because they drew the hurricane card. So that is why it is going to be turned on to max weather for this event. HD didn't move out to where they were supposed to, but eh, they might have missed the uh, the notice on that one. Let's see here, I think this is probably Rick's over here. Yep, that's Rick's over there. Um, he also didn't move out um, to the point, so both teams had a unit do it. So, <laughs> what you gonna do? I might be doing a lot of drinking this, this uh, a lot of Jesus. I will probably do a lot of drinking this stream, so, you know, you'll get the uh, lost coattail. We'll see how that improves the uh, commentary. Got NYV moving out here at a quick pace. Did they turn off the rain? Oh, if they turn off the rain, I'm going to be sad. Maybe maybe the uh, computers were not being able to handle it, but it would have been nice to watch a thunderstorm battle. You know. Some rigs can't handle it, I guess. So. It's unfortunate. So far, no action yet. I imagine the Union, whose piece that needs to defend, is going to play this map very conservatively. And the CSA is going to be a little bit more aggressive. Because they don't need a tie, they need a victory to uh, wipe out this piece here. On the wall, on the wall, boys, on the wall. Well, initial volley coming in from ooh, multiple elements coming in. The hood coming in, fighting against the IVB. But there's a unit down the road that has great shots on them. That is the 19th Indiana. Get behind that 
tiny tree. Oh, but now they're starting to attract some fire. They got pressure on their left, but they got several Union regiments that can come and aid them. Direct front, right? In fact, I would say this Union needs to push up a little bit, and that's exactly what they're doing. Here comes the 83rd is pushing up here along with the NYV. This is the 83rd's token. Tiberius is left. Hold here. Hang in. Hang in. Good shot, Pat. Fire! Fire! Hey, load bucking ball. Load bucking ball. Load bucking ball. Now, you see 42nd has been uh, pushed back a little bit here and there. They're going to fall back. In the meantime, you've got Ricks here harassing the TB over here who's kind of doing some distance. But we have, I bet this is 9th Corps. Oh no, it's 42nd in the Kilroy. Will he make a play for the C point? He does have 20th New York in the way. And there's a second reserve force further back here, but I think they, uh, with 4th West Virginia. But I think Kilroy, if he leaves an attack right now, he could punch through it. We'll see if that's what they choose to do, or if they're going to make the trek down here to reinforce. See, so far, the CSA has done a pretty good job of staying consolidated. And are really punching through these <laughs> Union elements here. Just, you guys keep blowing them away. Watch your fire. Move up, They're shooting a little bit high from what I can see. Folks is moving up here. Uh, uh, we got HL moving up. IVB putting pressure on the Union. They're right there. I think it's going to come down to. Let's see. They're in the tree line. DB has moved up as well. Let's see, and yes, indeed, indeedy, Gilroy has made this play. It is going to be up to uh, I think this element here to really upset the CSA defense. Right now, they are pressing forward here against this Union team. All right, come on now, computer. Keep up. Just some... Yeah, the Union needs to stabilize this line. I think the problem is... So, you can zoom out here. The problem I see right now is... The Union is, is here kind of fighting in these woods. And the CSA can easily slip a force down here. Now, they would have to deal with... I believe this is MWB down here. It is... And, you know, so that's not an easy unit to take. But if you slip a unit like the TB down there, um, you could decap that point. But instead, they've sent TB night back to try to deal with this 42nd element. We'll see how well 4th West Virginia can do to hold it. But so far, it looks like they lost. Now it's the 20th New York is going to come up. But it looks like Foot is in here, and he is going to try to get his foot down and get that flag down. Good shot. Thank you. This was pretty key here, this little maneuver here by Kilroy. And this element of the 42nd. Yep. There's a guy to our right. Now yeah, they don't MLT. they don't have a flag with them, so they can't really hold this position. But um, at least they can get the flag down. They're gonna get hit by night here pretty dang soon. But because he pulled off that attack here. That has given this Union line enough time to stabilize here and kind of hold this position. Again, I think the CSA needs to rotate some units out to try to get over onto the flank and sneak through. But um, Knight is going to make them pay for getting his flag down. I would say get out of there. Don't even hang out. Just just run away, Kilroy. Try to lead them on a merry chase. Oh, but look, 20th New York is cutting off their retreat. And this probably will be the end of this uh, excursion here, but they did their job. Get that off, sir. Hey, recharge. Say that. It's one strike. That is the policy. Plenty of other words you can choose. You chose that one. 
Alright, moving out. Hopefully I won't have to mute this game, but that's one strike. Hold steady, 40 second, hold steady. Keep your heads on a swivel. Hold fire, hold fire. Crispy fucking oh. It's like the CSA is going to try and attack here against oh, 9th Corps. You in front of here comes the do HL. EB is with them. Again, I don't think they should be attacking this angle. I think they should be attacking more onto the Union right here. We'll see if this works out. Trees are kind of in the way here. 83rd coming in to reinforce. I got a guy coming at me right now over here on the left. You can see oh, how much right. of a ticket difference Take that down. has made. And not only that, but now now ten, uh, Tennessee has to go a long way to get back. But here comes a big attack by the CSA. Yeah, I got that flag. Fuck yeah. Let's see if they can make it work here. Check, check, check. check. 19th Indiana has been hit. Now it's up to Parker and his guys. Oh, but Hood has returned as well. And here comes a counterattack into their side. I always love seeing Fry. And that. And there we go. Union has done a successful counterattack. And once more, they are positioned here. Who is this? We'll see if Ninth Corps maybe make its turn to uh, attempt an attack. I would keep doing that. At least send one unit to try it. As long as you can keep the uh, CSA bottled up here. Kind of surprised they're not pushing uh, through this line here, but it looks like 42nd has stabilized it. It's very tough to see these. On the forest. left, they're on the left, boys. There's left, an officer, left. they're coming. Right, here we go. Is they're this the attack? It's going to come harder. Keep it up, 42nd, push them off. One woman. They've certainly stabilized the situation, but wait a second, who is this? Is this Knight? It is Knight indeed. And he is in a great position to outflank the 42nd, but they might have seen it, and they're going to pull back just in time. And they got out just before Knight hit him in the side. That would have been a devastating attack. We'll see what Knight does. He's going to try to carry this attack forward a bit. But the Union is wisely reconsolidating back at A, making sure they hold on to it. All right, it could be that the, uh, let's see here. Nope, the Union did not opt to do another raid against uh, the C-Point. I still would have rotated a unit like Ninth Corps over there. I think they'd be a great uh, asset to try that. But maybe the call is to, hey, we, we got enough. Let's come back here and just defend A. All we're looking for is a draw. You can see the CSA, the Union is now kind of really consolidated back. There's a couple of units that are still forward here. It's very dangerous to be out here. 19th Indiana, I would not stay out here by yourselves. You're just asking to get swallowed up here. We need to wield this line to the right. So, you want a flogging, in other words. Not loaded, but, you know, 
So IVB is moving up here. Looks like uh, the reinforcements for the Union, probably 9th Corps. Southwest. No, it's Parker and the NYV. Back up. All right, so they are going to contest it in the forest. Interesting. Um, Forty second kind of got caught out there. Uh, as you can see, 19th in the end. Like I said, got got kind of caught out there a little bit. They're going to try to get back. It looks like Motohar's going to get most of his men out there, but did lose a good amount. And Barker is now, I would say, should not stay out in this location. It's tough to tell where your friendlies are. Now, he does have support here from Hood. Maybe they'll look into a, do a flank attack, but I don't know, man. This this is a little bit risky. CSA turns on him. He's got no support. So far, they haven't done it. Again, there's low visibility. So, I can see that. Here we got 83rd trying to hold back the IVB. And NYV comes in to counterattack. A lot of... Oh, Ninth Corps coming in now. A lot of Unions coming in to help. It is a bit of a melee. It needs to be and it looks like the Union has held that. And they have held on. Let's see who's over here. Mattis, I'd do another attack just like you did again. On C, just keep the CSA disrupted. These elements here have been doing a fine job defending. CSA is having a lot of trouble getting these attacks going in these woods. You could really get ahead on tickets and secure your victory. You got 27 minutes left in the match. As for the CSA right now, um, a bit counterintuitive, but I would attack. Let's see how far you can go out here. I think you can come right out here. I'm not sure if you can jump this fence. I don't think you can. But come down here and fight up this fence in one big mass here. Yeah, you're fighting uphill, but um, I think you could really drag the Union out into the open. Just the woods, you're having trouble getting the engagements going, so I bring the fight out into the open. Hold on, hold on, tank and Tiberius. Hold on, hold on, tank and Tiberius. Get your loads, get your loads. On the line, on the line. We're facing west. It's really hard to see with these damn trees. Zoo. Wow, you suck at charging. Anyway. Brace, 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 brace. Give it to the boys. Give it to the boys. Give it to the boys. That was not a very effective charge. I think I missed a charge. It's the CSA held. From the sound of it. Oh, but this charge is into the teeth of NYV, huh? That did not work out too well. Oh, there we go. Let's see who did it. Was it that element I was thinking of? Yep, it was. Bob. Are they bringing a flag up here is the question now. Are they going to try to do both? Um, no, see, I wouldn't send these guys out isolated without a flag. If you had a flag with you, I would. Um, but without a flag, there's not real much point I'm holding this position. Yeah, but... Oh, you're a rebel. I didn't know you were a rebel. But, um, yeah. We'll see what the CSA does next. So pretty much all 42nd now is going to be over there fighting... There, we'll see if the CSA tries to push forward here and take A and swap the battlefield, or if they send a unit back. I would do a full press here and try to knock out the Union. And they're actually doing a pretty good job of shaping this element here. You can kind of see they're in a bit of a bowl now. 
Oh, and here comes the charge for the CSA. The Union is starting to fall apart. I don't know why the Union isn't falling back to more secure terrain. And especially with those flags. A successful CSA charge, and they got to carry it forward. It's going to be down, down to the MWB. And what's left of the Union to hold this mass of the CSA. Get ready, guys. They're making a push day. Get ready, get ready, get ready. And I don't think the Midwest Brigade can hold this onslaught from the HL and HD. EB's in here as well. The problem with giving up this point is it's much more defensible than the other point. Um... And as you can see, because the Union doesn't have a flag up there, the CSA does have a flag down here. So they are going to be able to get a flag up. And the other team won't have a flag up, so that's going to cause major damage to the Union. Again, I thought it was I thought you overcommitted on the C point. Um, I thought the initial element that went over there, but reinforcements without a flag, I don't think serve much of a purpose. You know, you might be winning this fight here. Just the 20th New York and these other guys. But without a flag, this is a big problem for this Union team now. I think that was a critical error. And that might cost them the match here. And it might cost them a token. Here we go. That was a friendly. So now the Union is going to trit here, and they can dig in. Now, even if, uh, you know, Union holds there until they get a flag up, which is going to be quite a long time. Let's see if I can... Do, do they have a flag yet? I mean, here it is. Here's Foot. He's got to get up there and get that flag up. So, this is going to switch the battlefield. Now the Union's got to decide, do I keep uh, fighting for A, or do we just swap the battlefield now? I would, at this point, swap the battlefield, I think. Because if you feed troops into this, they're just going to get killed. This is a very hard position to attack from that angle. Much easier to attack from up there. Or from down over here, but a lot of people don't like going down there. I think it's too far in the open, but... Alright, so it looks like the Union has turned around and they have opted. Now to switch the field and control C. Your fucking flag. Oh no! Fuck you. And we'll see how quickly the CSA reacts to this. By the tree out there. Oh shit! Nice one. Me? Is that you or Apple? See, they do have some troops coming up in here. Here's Lightburn. Few troops. It looks like. Looks like TB is sending some men up as well here. It's dancing with the 27th. Yeah, You're a lot funnier when you have chicken nuggies. See if they can stop that flag going up. Right here. Fire towards that flag. The rocks. Towards the flag that's being raised. Independent fire. Oh man, you just got fucked. Yep, the Union is switching the field now. Again, I think this is a really good decision by them. But now you've seen they've... If it's not even, it's it's slightly behind now for the Union. Good job, All right, hold cover, guys. Hold cover. I'll have to see what the CSA chooses to do. They're going to accept the... Uh, they're going to carry out the attack? Yep, they're gonna carry it out here. Shit. Run, run, run. This is Yankee propaganda. The tough thing about this for the Union is the uh, CSA has great infill routes from their spawn with the woods here, and they can get back behind. It's a, uh, it's a pretty easy, it's an easier point to attack. Now you do have the stone wall here, which is a nice defensive position. The problem is being able to spot where the attack's coming from. 
We'll see if the CSA can take advantage of that and mass their movement successfully. Again, for the uh, big board, this is in Knoxville. If the uh, CSA wins this match, the 83rd, which is a full token of 4,000 men, will be wiped out. Oh, this is a forward attack here by 42nd, clearing out the woods. I think this is a really good attack here. Yeah, you want to not let them get masked up here. If you got little units all straggled out, you want to hit them and pick up some nice tickets from it. Try to even out the uh, fight. And I would still rotate another unit out to try to cap. Again, like a Ninth Corps or an NYV, something like that. And for the CSA, I would, you know, leave some defensive elements. Pretty much just mirror it. I think you have an easier time taking C point. But the Union is doing a good job of doing a forward attack. But this might be the weakness right here. Who is this coming in? IVB now has the backside of this wall. It's the problem with trying to defend this position. Morning, boys. HL moving forward here. Into the jaws here of the 42nd. CSA starting to fall behind again on tickets a little bit. Prestige, the Union's Prestige, winning Prestige, these fights Prestige. in these woods very well. Oh, Ninth Corps coming up to support. Very good. Good support here by the Union. That's going to help them get back ahead a little bit. Let's see here. I don't see any movements yet for the Union onto that point. I'm gonna fucking rape your dog after I kill you. I'm going to fucking rape your dog. Well, I mean, Peter might not like that. I might, you know. Behind us, behind us. What? Brace, no, no, brace, we're not. Brace, brace. Brace. No. Ah! Corner. Pushing corner. Reb south, real close. So far, the Union team is doing a really good job of defending this. I, I, I don't think the CSA is doing great attacks. I don't think you should attack out in this open here. Again, I think you need to rotate onto this side of the field and try to get across, you know, this gap right here. And there's plenty of room to do it. It's not easy to see. And once you get over here, you can infiltrate in. And it's a lot easier to fight up this side, in my opinion. I'm trying to fight here, it's too open. Now, there's strong points with decent uh, yeah, the wall, boys. lines of sight. CSA is behind. They're now on taking losses at 15 minutes, 50 seconds. But Union is very close on tickets. I think the Union's just going to try to hold it. Go for that tie. Left flank! Left flank! In the corner, in the oh, 83rd launching an attack here into the corner. Oh, but they're going to get swamped here by the IVB. It's a little dangerous for the Union to be doing maneuvers like that, to be honest with you. Son, go work. Back to the wall to load. We got reds on our right. Again, this is the angle I would attack from here. Again, I'd go even deeper, to be honest with you. Look right, look right. 
Looking for the 42nd. Just got it down in time. They didn't really didn't lose too many men at all. Who was that that put that volley in? DB and HL? Oh, got a return shot. So you got a nice L formation developing. Oh, what is this? Okay, 9th Corps is going to try to intercept the lock here, line of communication between uh, point and reinforcements. That's a great way to get some tickets. So I really like this maneuver here from the 9th Corps. Just kind of roam these woods and catch these out of lines here. Now on taking losses, but uh, I think you can have faith that this L formation here can hold pretty well. You also got MWB as a guard. I would still send a detachment. Maybe Ricks and his guys would be a good detachment for this. To see if you could probe over to A and take it. In fact, that might be these guys over here. Yep. So, you know, you still got some guys hanging out over here with HD and Hazard. But, um, yeah, if it, Ricks could probe it a little bit, uh, maybe find a, find a way in. You got CJH doing a similar thing of intercepting the lock on this side here. Getting some nice out-of-line tickets. Manus is going to sneak right by him, though. So, oh, we got a major fight up here, though. This is the big attack from the CSA. I like this angle a lot better. I, I still think it's a little bit shallow, but I think it's having a lot better effects. As you can see, now they both are on the stone wall here. And the CSA has gotten on this side of the flag here. And they're going to be able to get it down. Oh, but we have a flank attack coming in. Here comes the Ninth Corps from behind, but I don't think it's quite enough. And they are... Uh, that guy's name Black? That's kind of fucking weird. I count that as a half. 27th boys, get on the wall here. With dancing. Good work, good work. Raise that shit, Robinson. Raise it. Ah, I'm raising it. That was fucking weird. Raise it up, boys. Well, raise it faster. <laughs> I'm trying. There you go. Yeah. I'm going to count that as one and a yeah. half. Good fucking hold. Who's uh, slide do I got? I think Robinson. All right, so now CSA controls both points. So now the Union is in serious trouble here. But they're doing what they need to do, which is trying to recap this point. I don't know if it's going to be in time, though. You know what I'm saying? A point is hard to hold against the CSA. You got HD. Let's see how long they can delay them. Even a couple seconds matter. This is a great opportunity for the CSA to win this match. Nine man inbounds. Three seconds gonna attack this element of HD. The problem with this is they're drawing them from the main objective here. And the more time that goes by, the better. So I think 40 seconds was a little bit mistaken of not concentrating here and getting that point down as soon as possible. Even 10, 15 seconds can make a huge difference. You know, taking that position. These guys weren't going to stop you from taking the point. But you kind of lost some combat power with that time. Take the guys on the rocks. Oh, God. HD is going to try to hold them as long as they can. You, you. Yeah, HD is doing what you need to do right now. You need to keep him off that flag, even for a few seconds. It is a huge Mulvaney, piece. Mulvaney, Chuck, Salem, Brown, stay there. Everybody else on the stage. And as rail. you can see, how far down that morale state has gone. Oh, uh, you still haven't even dealt with that element yet. 
Again, I would leave it to somebody else and get this flag down, but still. And do they have a flag with them? I don't think they do. I think they lost all their flags over there. That is a... Let's see the flag coming up. They'll get it down, but they will still go to breaking here. Without another flag to go out to stop this morale loss. Let's see, do we have something else going on, on the other side of the field? Uh, looks like... 19th is kind of floating around here, trying to find a way in. But, uh, the CSA is now dug on on, on C point. Yep, there we go, breaking. And frankly, now as a CSA, I would get super conservative. Eight minutes is plenty of time to, uh, try to hold half a morale state. If you play it smartly. Good job. Like, these elements here should, should fall back right now. These are just out-of-line tickets. You know, possibly 15 to 20. If they come, come Guys should have gotten out of here a long time ago. This is a lot of tickets. Don't want to be losing here. Union just needs to charge this out. I don't know why you got two lines here plinking at three guys. Just charge them. Well, I mean, I suppose they, they are attracting a lot of fire, so, you know. It's not a bad idea, actually, you know. I'm, I'm stunned the Union's not charging those guys. Just count the shots, guys. One, two, three. Okay, in 20 seconds, how many shots you see? See three shots, there's three guys. Yeah, problem is still no flag, so you're still seeing that morale decay. But the key is now to get the CSA down to breaking. Without you going to last stand. That is the key now. And that is still achievable. Um, but you need two things. You need the flag up, and you got to figure a way to bring the attack to the enemy. Oh, this is not... Who is this? Oh, it's just leftover signals. Okay. There's a couple of Rambos like, what the hell are you doing? Although, Gomer, you shouldn't be out here. Let's see if Gomer gets away. Here comes Parker up here, but you're not going to be able to do this as a single attack anymore. The CSA is too well dug in. Finally charge out these guys. They did. So the key for the Union now is get the enemy down to breaking. Without you going to last stand. That's not an easy task to do. Uh, but that's what they need to do. Now Adeline guys like this are great for that. Sarantori here. Really? You're not going to catch him? Alright. What are you doing all the way out there, Flag? You should be over here with your guys. Right, so as Parker tries to do that wide flank, we got another maneuver here by the CSA. I like this avenue of attack. The reason I really like this avenue of attack for the Union is you have a good opportunity to catch out lines. Skirmishing. Skirmishing casualties on your... What the hell that word I tried to just say there was. Um, casualties as you're moving up here. And you really need to get some out-of-lines going in order to uh, even up and try to get them down to breaking. Got an engagement here between Parker and the 4th West Virginia. Again, you do... This is, I'd say, a mistake by 4th West Virginia. You do not want to give the Union an opportunity to get casualties like this to do these tickets on you. Skirmishing and out of lines. You want to be packed tight. You're not stopping them. Hold here. Hold, 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 hold. Regroup, regroup. Form. Again, for the Union, I'd, I'd come around 
No, maybe right over here, actually, where this unit here They're is. It's probably, I'd say, a really good attack vector in. Don't want to go in too shallow because there's a lot of open ground here. On the line of port oh, good job here, though, by IVB coming in to try to intercept them. Northwest, northwest, northwest. Oh, good job. Looks like they caught 42nd. And 10th Tennessee moved up. Oh, 42nd got caught out, and they have been pulled off here into the jaws of the IVB. But 10th Tennessee is going to come up and close the door on them. In the meantime, the rest of this force here got intercepted by HD. Uh, this might be it for the Union here. It might come down to Parker. Parker's taking these rocks, which was good. They're all dead. Oh, but the Union is just about on to final push now. I think this is going to be a CSA win here. They're saying they wiped them. Yep. Honestly, I think this came down to flag management. Spark is going to try another maneuver over that way. Southwest. The problem is you guys are now getting all kind of That's stuck here. Flag to the Ninth door. Corps is yeah, you just you just wasting time now. Although frankly you lost anyway. There's there's no way to win, and you still haven't had a flag come up at at A point. Why didn't you put a flag on A? That is that. What the fuck? I. Why wouldn't you put a flag on A and stop your morale decrease? You might have still had a chance of keep getting them down to taking losses and break, you know, get them down to breaking. If you had a little bit, you know, if you're breaking and they're breaking, even if you're almost down to last stand, if they hit breaking, it's a tie. But because you didn't cap that point and you kept the morale state going down, you threw the match. There was no chance. I... I don't know what the fuck the Union's thinking here, man. I'll be honest. This is... I, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. This this makes no sense. I mean, this is the 83rd's token is gone. This was not just a nothing battle. 4,000 man piece. Brand new. Gone. Again, flag management. It came down to flag management. So this is a huge victory here for the CSA team. And will be the elimination of the 83rd token just east of Knoxville and gives them a lot of opportunities to develop assaults into the uh, Western Theater. It's, it's over. It's over. It's now 13 imbalances. The imbalances continue to get worse here. Break reload. To the north. Rev in front. You know, I, I repeat it often, but it, apparently not often enough. The most important thing about conquest and contention are the flags of managing these points. Nothing else you do matters. The only thing that you do that matters is getting those flags up and down. If what you're doing does not serve that, then you are wasting your time and actively hurting your team. You've got to keep in mind, do I have a flag? Do they have a flag? Can I get the flag up? Can I get it down? Not capping that point is insane to me. Go get it. Get in behind. Okay, That's the end. I don't think I've seen a uh, last stand on HDC. I might be wrong on that. But I think that might be the first time I've seen a last stand on the HDC. I'll have to go back and check my records. But um, uh, good job by the uh, CSA. I thought they were, you know, early on, they were kind of losing it. But um, they, 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 
they got they they pulled it out. The eighty third falls. Four thousand man token, first battle gone. See what happens next. <laughs>